A very good day I would like to wish to Madam Ruslita. So, today, my groupmates and I will be presenting about the application of statistics in education and the topic that we are going to talk about is the reason to why students cannot cope with their studies. So, before we begin, I would like to introduce my group members. So, we have Wong Junyuan, Aida Najiha Binti Abdul Rahman, Amiru Asraf bin Muhammad Huzari, and me, myself, Jasmine Kamhoi Ming. So we will begin with the definition of application of statistics in education. So application of statistics in education is the measurement and evaluation are essential part of teaching learning process. In this process, we obtain scores and then interpret these scores in order to take decisions. Statistics enable us to study these scores objectively. It also makes the teaching learning process more efficient. So this is our table of content. We will be talking about our problem identification, population of studies, samples and sampling unit of studies, list of variables and scales of measurement, and last, the data collection. So the problem identification to our research topic is the reason to why students cannot cope with their studies is because students feel boring attending class, students not paying attention during class, Thirdly, students have less interaction with lecturers, and the last is because the 21st century education reach is online learning. So this is our population of studies for our topic, which is University of Uttara, Malaysia, and it involves all students of UUM. Next, the sample of studies is 40 students in semester 2 UUM. So next, which is the sampling unit of the study. In sampling techniques, our research plan relates to probability sampling. We choose stratified sampling for our research as we choose all UM students for our population. Then, we select a sample of 40 UM students from semester 2. Our sampling shows that each group have the same characteristic, which is semester 2. Thank you, Jasmine. Next, I will continue with the list of variables and scale of measurement. Alright, our first variable is how satisfied the students are in semester A to want to study mode, which is a level of satisfaction. So the type of variable is qualitative variable, while the rate of measurement is ordinal. Next, for number two, we do have the number of courses for which they are currently registered in semester A to want to. Then we collect by using a ratio, which is under the quantitative variable. Alright, furthermore, the next variable is the level of satisfaction with the technology and software that they are using for online learning. Okay, we use ordinal which is under the qualitative variable. Number four is the hours spent by students in semester A212. Type of variable is quantitative and the rate of measurement is a ratio. Continue with number five which is how helpful is the instructor in each lecture. We will use a rating scale. This is the ordinal which is under qualitative variable. Thank you to my friend Jasmine Aida. So I will continue with other variable which is ability to return back to university. You will find the ability student to return back to university and this is a nominal quality variable. Next is internet connection speed for online learning which is we will find out the speed of internet in kilobyte per second. This is a ratio under quantitative variable. After that is relationship with classmate or classmate. We will collect the rating scale for find out the relationship for the student with other classmate. This is the ordinary qualitative variable. And next, the ability to adapt the new academic environment. We will find out the level of adaptability for the student to adapt with the new academic environment, especially when the pandemic. And last but not least, the stress of university student. We will find out the level of stress of student while online learning. And both of the variable is under ordinary qualitative variable. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, I would like to present the data correction. In data correction, there are two kinds of data, which is primary data and secondary data. So we use primary data for our research plan. On the other hand, we will use online questionnaire survey in order to collect data. There are three pros of using online questionnaire survey. Firstly, wider respondent coverage. Secondly, respondent have flexible and enough time to answer the questions. And lastly, no cost required. In contrast, there are three cons of using online questionnaire survey. Firstly, some data might be fake. Secondly, one-way interactions. And lastly, not suitable for difficult questions. In conclusion, statistics show a clear information to allow researchers to make decisions based on the data gathered. Therefore, our group used the statistical term to create our research plan. Thank you.